Richard Southern joins us now with a look at the day's top business stories. Hi, Richard. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, Janela. How are you? Not too bad. So we heard earlier in the show that uh, some Canadians are coming back from Wuhan. They're going to be kept in isolation. Um, but we're also hearing that a Canadian industry is feeling the pinch because of the coronavirus. Yeah, uh, pinch being the operative word there. It's Canada's lobster industry, Janela, that is really suffering amid this outbreak. And that's because a lot of cargo flights have been shut down to China. So uh, the fishermen there in Nova Scotia on Canada's east coast, they don't have a way now to get those crustaceans live wow. over to China. And, you know, China has really been buying a lot of Canadian lobsters, Janela. Uh, in fact, last year, $400 million uh, spent. This is a billion-dollar overall lobster industry in Nova Scotia. Prices have uh, already started to fall quite dramatically. Uh, just the other week, we had a price of $10.50 per pound as far as what the fishermen get. That's down to $8. Experts say the price will probably continue to fall because uh, just no way to get those lobsters to market in China, Janelle. Oh, wow. So maybe, it, I don't know, what can we do? Can we just start ordering some more lobsters <laughs> from here to support the industry? Valentine's Day is coming up. Yeah. Get I yourself mean, a lobster dinner. Yeah, the, I think the lobster season's a couple more months away, but you can obviously, of course, get them year-round, and maybe, yeah, it'll be a bargain for us now to have uh, some lobster and drawn butter for dinner, Janela. All right, I'll put that on the shopping list. Okay, <laughs> fears are growing, obviously, around the, the coronavirus, and prices for one medical product now are going through the roof. Yeah, I mean, you see people just walking around Toronto with the face masks, uh, face masks on, right, Janela? That's right. And, yeah, on the subway, to... everywhere. I saw someone with a gas mask walking down Lower <laughs> Street the other day. I kid you not. Uh, maybe a bit overkill there, but face masks, of course, intended to try and keep the coronavirus out. If you can find them, they're costing an arm and a leg. On Amazon, medical face masks selling for about 30 bucks, up from just 15, 10 days ago. Anti-pollution masks jumping to $40 from 15. A box of disposable face masks, uh, 100 of them going for 30 bucks, not too bad. But Amazon says the early delivery date, earliest delivery date is in late February. One reviewer joking, Janelle, we'll all be dead by then. Of course, right. that's not, not true. But <laughs> I don't um, know about that, but uh, definitely cashing in on a crisis. Yeah, well, I, my local pharmacy has the signs up. We're out of face masks. Check back later. So there's a know, big run on them. We've done the stories debunking how much they can actually help you unless you're actually sick and trying to protect yourself from uh, passing it on. They say it makes you touch your face a lot. It makes you touch your face more, uh, right? You they say gloves are actually a better, uh, and wa just wash your hands a lot. Just wash your hands, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, obviously last night the Super Bowl and uh, the Canadians didn't get to watch all those U.S. commercials last night. So we didn't get to see the finale of a story that we were talking about a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we had this ad on a couple weeks ago. Mr. Peanut, the 104-year-old mascot, Janelle, he was in a, a car accident and he supposedly died. This was his funeral commercial last night. Uh, Mr. Cleaning the scene consoling a teary Kool-Aid man. Uh, one of Mr. Kool-Aid's tears falls to the ground and guess what happens? Uh-oh. A little... Baby, Mr. Peanut emerges. A rebirth. <laughs> so he lives in baby form. He's back, Janella. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the sound a peanut makes? <laughs> He's apparently made. That's what he makes. Sounds like a dolphin or something. Uh, this ad campaign was actually put on hold briefly after the death of Kobe Bryant. The oh. planters wanted to be sensitive to that. But there he is. Mr. Peanut lives to see another day. So cute. And we are going to talk more Super Bowl next hour. And I do have a bone to pick with you, but I'll wait. So uh -oh. let's just quickly look at gas prices tonight. No change tonight. The trend calls for a one cent decrease on Wednesday. And yes, we're talking some Super Bowl and talking about a Shirley Temple drink reviewer that's getting a lot of attention online just after 630. I think that'll be my next job. <laughs> yes, sign us up. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. We'll see you next hour. See you.